you know, I'm not nearly as flexible as I used to be, Toby, but we're going to talk <laughs> about flexibility and ease of use with this Holbeck system, aren't we? Exactly. These are, again, the two main topics, flexibility and simplicity. So for those of you who are watching right now, the Hallbeck system is this really cool unit that goes through the tool changer of your machine, goes into your work holding system, and it's a, maybe the simplest version of automation that we have to date, right? So let's talk about how this works. Correct. As you said, we're using the tool changer as a storage for devices and the workpieces, and actually the spindle replaces the robot. So the spindle it gets the, the Hobex system from the tool changer and places it on a mechanical zero point clamping system in the machine tool. So no automation interfaces are required, no programming, no roboting skills. Everyone can use it on actually every machine tool. I have, I see so many positive attributes to this system. Let's talk real estate, the fact that there's, we're all fighting for real estate. We can't build machines on top of each other yet. So this automotive system really goes into any machine that's on a shop floor and not limited to just one setup, right? Correct, correct. For instance, you can use it today on one machine, the other day you use it on the other machine, as long as the tool holder fits in. It's amazing. So when we talk about the tool holders, what, what are the options currently? As standard, we offer HSK 63, BT 40, SK 40, CAT 40, but all other common tool holders can be realized as well on request, or customers can even do it on their own if they want. So next question I have, and these are all the things I go through when I learn about this. As a machinist, as a programmer, someone who's run the, on the shop floor, I have these questions because I want our audience to know as well. Programming, is it difficult? No, it isn't. If you can't do it on your own, we have sample programs for all the major controllers like Siemens, Heidenhain, Massa Troll, or Fanuc, we just get a copy of the program for us, then you enter it in your machine tool, and then you can keep it running. What happens if I accidentally turn the machine spindle on? Does that destroy my unit? Is my money now wasted? Nothing will happen. There are some safety features in the hood. There's a kind of a bumper in the set axis, so if you go down too fast, nothing will happen. The motor will stop instantly. If you turn it more than 90 degrees, the zero point clamping system does re rotate endless, so nothing can happen if you make a mistake as a human being. Toby, I find value in this system for someone who's kind of just getting started as well. Now we talked about the real estate of a facility, but also someone who's getting started with your help in the programming system, if they need it, they may not. We're talking about, I can buy two, three, four, five of these, toss them in the tool changer, and I can start my automation and, and kind of an entry level confidence building Ab system, right? Absolutely, that's what we call it. It's the entry into the world of automation. It's very cost efficient, no requirements for the machine tool, no big changes at the machine tool, or no changes at all. So you can, within one hour, basically you can start your own automated production. And Toby, I love how cost effective these things are. I mean, for an entry level person who's learning how much money you can make from automation, running through nights, running through weekends, before investing in something like what's behind us with the FANUC robot here, this is a fantastic way to start and see what my ROI is gonna be. Exactly, correct. It's for getting the first experience with automated manufacturing in lunch breaks, in the evening hours. And once the operators get more familiar with automation systems, they get trust in it, they maybe are prepared for the next step, like Robotrex, for instance. And when I'm looking at this, it's obviously running behind us right now. It's doing the old twist and shout type of thing, you know, it kind of has this little dance move. But we have it also in front of us to show the audience really how simple it is. Can we go over this to show them? Sure. Because if we see a system behind us, we talk about the system, we talk about ease of use, we talk about cost, everything that's involved, it really is this simple. Let's show the audience what's going on here. It's really easy. We clamp the workpiece regularly in the vise. We put the hood over the vise, turn it by 90 degrees until the vise is locked tightly in the hood and now it can go straight into the tool changer. That's all. Now you see me, now you don't. It's almost yeah. like a magic trick coming out of your it zero is. point where we also know about the precision of laying as well and the repeatability as we go through the tool changer. Really a fantastic system and you're the only one that offers this, aren't you? Absolutely, it's a patented system, so it's exclusively available at Lang. This is my buddy Toby, this is Lang, this is Hallbex. Go and get yourself one.